All right, let's dive in. If you've been anywhere near the Proxmox community lately, you've probably noticed it. There's this buzz, a real electric energy lighting up the forums and Reddit threads. So today, we're going to get into exactly what's causing all this excitement, the brand new Proxmox Data Center Manager beta. And, you know, this one comment, it just captures the mood perfectly. It's not just excitement, it's this feeling of relief, you know, of real forward momentum. This is what happens when a developer actually listens to its community. And man, is Proxmox getting a lot of this right now. So what is it about this beta release that has so many people talking? Because this isn't just some minor update. We're going to break down what the Proxmox Data Center Manager actually is, why it feels so different this time, and whether it's the game changer that everyone seems to be hoping for. Okay, but to really get why this is such a huge deal, you first have to understand the problem. The thing that Proxmox users have been kind of quietly dealing with for years, especially as their setups got bigger and bigger. I mean, this was the reality. If you were running a multiple Proxmox servers or clusters, you were living in a world of a dozen browser tabs, a bunch of SSH windows, and maybe some scripts you hacked together yourself. It worked, sure, but it wasn't pretty, and it definitely didn't scale well. It was really the one major pain point in an otherwise amazing ecosystem. So in walks the solution to that longstanding problem, the Proxmox Data Center Manager, or PDM, as we'll probably call it, is stepping onto the scene, and it's positioning itself as the one tool to finally unify the whole Proxmox experience. In the simplest terms, think of it as a single pane of glass, one dashboard where you can see and, more importantly, manage everything. We're talking about migrating VMs, checking resources, getting that high-level overview, all without needing a super complex, tightly knit cluster. It's a massive leap forward. So let's quickly break down what this actually means for you. eVPN, that just makes your networking across data centers way simpler. The improved search, the better metrics, the new UI for privileges, these are all huge quality of life upgrades that are gonna cut down on headaches for admins. In a seamless upgrade from the alpha version, that's a huge nod of respect to the early testers. But here's the real kicker. This isn't just a new feature, okay? This is a fundamental shift in architecture. By rebuilding the back end in Rust, Proxmox is basically planting a flag. They're building for speed, for memory safety, and for the long haul. This is all about future-proofing. I absolutely love this analogy from the forums because it just perfectly nails the jump in the user experience. For admins who've spent years with the older, let's say, functional interface, this new web UI is just so much faster and cleaner. It's the same idea, but a totally superior experience. So we know what it is, but now let's get into the why. Why is the reaction so intense? Because it's about more than just a list of new features. It's about what this tool represents for the whole Proxmox world. And this quote, yeah, this pretty much says it all, doesn't it? There's this shared feeling that this is the missing piece of the puzzle that people have been waiting for for years. It's this mix of validation and just pure excitement that Proxmox is finally tackling one of its biggest weaknesses head on. But let's be real here. It is a beta, and the community is doing what it does best, poking at it and finding the rough edges. This kind of constructive feedback, like pointing out a case-sensitive search bar, that's exactly what makes open development so powerful. It's not just blind praise. It's a real collaboration. And of course, you gotta love the community humor. This little back and forth about a typo, downtime versus downtime, it's just a great little window into the culture. You've got these serious tech pros who also don't take themselves too seriously. This table really just boils it all down. It's about moving away from that fragmented, cobbled together management style to a clean, unified, single pane of glass overview. For anyone who has ever managed more than two or three nodes, this change is just, it's everything. And hey, if you were thinking this was just a tool for small home labs, think again. Early stress tests are showing PDM handling over 10,000 virtual machines. The point here is crucial. This is not a toy. Proxmox is building this thing for serious at-scale work right from day one. So who is this really for? Well, pretty much everyone in the ecosystem. For the home labbers, is about convenience, finally seeing all your projects in one spot. For small businesses, this is a total game changer, giving you enterprise-level tools without that insane enterprise price tag. And for the big enterprises, well, it's suddenly a very compelling alternative. 
And that right there is the bigger picture. Proxmox has always been the scrappy underdog. But with all the chaos and uncertainty around VMware's future under Broadcom, people are actively looking for other options. PDM is arriving at the absolute perfect time, and it's helping transform Proxmox from just that cool free thing into a genuine full-stack challenger. Okay, so with all this hype, we have to ask the big question. Is this really the game changer everyone thinks it is? Or are we all getting a little ahead of ourselves? It's time to ground all this excitement in the reality of what a beta release actually is. The Proxmox team is being super clear about this. A beta is for testing. You should expect bugs. You absolutely should not roll this out on your mission-critical systems yet. But it's also a chance for you to get involved, to report issues, and to help shape what this thing becomes. And the crazy response proves just how strong that grassroots support really is. So, the road ahead is pretty clear. First things first, squash all the bugs and get to that stable 1.0 release. After that, the real magic starts, with deeper integrations into the rest of the ecosystem, like the Proxmox backup server. The end goal here is seriously ambitious, a complete open source alternative to the big guys. So ultimately, that's the question we're left with. PDM feels like more than just another piece of software. It feels like a statement of intent. With its modern architecture, its focus on scale, and its perfect market timing, it really does feel like we're getting a sneak peek of the next chapter for Proxmox. And if the buzz is anything to go by, that chapter is going to be a big one. Thanks for tuning in.